such a lady. <laughs> Global warming. What are the solutions? What are you doing to help stop or prevent global warming? I try to live as lightly on the planet as I can, so I don't drive my car any more than I absolutely have to. Uh, we do as much recycling as we can. Uh, we try to buy local things and not buy too much. Crisis. Yeah. And we should do something about it. And what do you plan to do? Wait. I will um, try to turn the heat lower than usual in a cold day. And also, same as Mrs. McGray, I think I will hang my clothes dry in the laundry room instead of putting the dry. <laughs> I think it's, I think everybody has to just, like, again, be aware that global warming is happening and in terms of just, you know, not to use as much as resources as much as be, everything recyclable and everything, car sources and use less, walk, bike. One thing that I like to do is to use the uh, my clothesline outside instead of putting on the clothes dryer to dry my clothes. So Jackie, what are you doing to help stop global warming and why is it important to you? I'm trying to cut my greenhouse gas emissions because we are destroying the environment and soon we won't have a place to live. So what are you doing to help this cause? Reduce, reuse and recycle! people what they thought. I think uh, emissions must have something to do with climate change. I'm not 100% sure, so if we could do things to lower emissions, that'd be great. Transportation has contributed 49.6% of greenhouse gas emissions to climate change. The problem's definitely been increasing uh, in terms of warming up the planet, especially since the Industrial Revolution and solely as a result of human population efforts for burning fossil fuels and combustion engines, uh, fuel sources for home heating, and I think basically that uh, we've realized it too late. It's going to continue until we make a concerted effort globally to cut back our use of fossil fuels and substitute alternates that are not as uh, unfriendly to the environment. Okay, hey, we've got to go. We've waited long enough. Well, I'm almost done. Just a few more sips. Okay. Okay, let's go. Climate change is a big deal. We need to stop it now. What do you think are the causes of climate change? I think it's greed. I think the Western world is greedy. We're having a great time. I think we're all here on a great big party. We're having a good time, spending money, spending resources, taking it easy. And then at the bottom half, we have an incredible incredibly large and growing section of poor people who have nothing at all. The people who are going to pay for it are going to be our children. I think my generation has uh, failed our children. I do believe that things will get a lot worse in terms of shifting of planet species, vegetation, animal species as well, 
and uh, we're going to see an unfortunate decrease in our species as we shift our climate and species that haven't been found in areas will occur and become invasive and I do believe that eventually we'll get a handle on it, it's just that we're not doing as much. So what do you think are some causes of global warming? Um, some causes of global warming would be greenhouse gas emissions from cars, trucks, buses, factories, and uh, production rates of glass and plastics. Um, also, the overpopulation and overuse of non renewable resources like oil and natural gas. Due to climate change, there may be no snow left that makes Banff so special to live in during the winter months, therefore affecting many of the sports we love to do. Climate change, I think, is a pretty, pretty serious issue these days. Um, it's affecting the different weather patterns, it affects the type of snow that we get here and when we get snow. One of the many reasons our climate has been changing so drastically is due to the emissions that cars give off in exhaust. Climate change. What is climate change is indeed a good question because so few people know. To me, climate change is a real question. Is it really going to happen and destroy our world or has it already happened and we're just enjoying it as it goes along in nature? Climate change is something that we all have to be aware of and do what we can to alleviate it. However, we also have to be realistic and understand that it could be nature at work. Are we speeding up nature? Overpackaging is a major factor that we should be concerned about, seeing as we produce too much waste as it is. To reduce consumption rate, we need to do our part and recycle. I think climate change is a complete myth. It happens every 45 to 50,000 years, and people are overly worried about this. What we should be worried about is our consumption rate. We use too many things and don't recycle enough. If we continue to love our lives as we do today, in the future, climate change will have a very negative impact on the ski hills many locals and tourists love to ski at. I think that sometimes it's un unpredictable, so climate change doesn't really, it's not as predictable as the snow, the snow isn't as predictable as it once was, and so us being able to go snowboarding and skiing and doing those kinds of things, that's, that's become a bit of a problem. But also, we're getting snow when we don't want snow, so those days we want to go mountain biking or skating or rollerblading or skateboarding or whatever, we can't because there's snow on the ground. Oh no, there's not enough snow on the ground to ski. What am I going to do? Dang you, climate change. How does the climate change affect the ski hills and the snow conditions in Canada? Well, I can only address what's happening here in the Banff area, and it, we don't seem to see much of a change from what we've been experiencing in my, in my time over the last 30 years or so. This winter's not as good as some winters, but uh, we don't seem to see a major change in what's going on as far as the snowpack is concerned. melting the snow so ski seasons are getting shorter and also that like you can't skate on ponds as much like as much as you used to okay much. and how does the environment how can we get the environment back on track uh, I think we could do the three R's reduce reuse and recycle keep track of what we're doing stuff like that did you know the average car produces its own weight and CO2 emissions each year? Did it? You? No. 9,000. Years. Ago. Temperatures. In. Southern. BC. Where? 1 degrees to 2 degrees Celsius. Warmer. Than. Today.
Climate change and how it affects our wildlife. Due to climate change, animals have a harder time traveling. Global warming can change a bear's hibernation pattern. Animals' habitats are getting destroyed, forcing them to go into towns. Think about climate change. I guess I think or believe that it, it does exist and that the climate is changing, but it's very gradual. And we're, planet Earth is warming up. How do you think it affects our wildlife? Well, our immediate wildlife in Banff National Park are affected by it because um, snow cover for some animals, too, maybe maybe too much snow, or or for other animals like carnivores, a, a lack of snow cover for uh, so it affects their hunting patterns in the winter time. Also, I think that. Um, the uh, climate change is causing more fires so that it definitely is affecting the, the um, wildlife and loss of habitat because of that. How do you think it affects our wildlife? Um, I think that climate change affects the wildlife in a variety of ways. One of them definitely is where they can travel to and how, how they travel, the way that packs travel and groups of animals travel, so uh, definitely some, some way or another it does impact them.